<laughs> Unless you need it. Unless you would like it. Always. Oh, yeah, we're Hey, buddy. Hey, Patricia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Patricia Rosema. I'm Stephen Dunn. And we're here to talk about Canadian cinema, its future. The past, the, the queerness, present. The yeah, all those. Some guesses about the future, yeah. all of it. All those things. My feature yeah. debut was before yours. Mm -hmm. And I just, I made a film, tiny. I, I remember thinking, wow, what if people like this? Don't think that way. Don't think that. Make something that you want to see. It was a beautiful, beautiful thing that no mm -hmm. one can ever take away from me because I didn't expect anything. And it, it went to Cannes, it sold mm -hmm. to 40 countries, it was the opening night of the Toronto Film Festival. And it became like a really important queer Canadian milestone, I think, for, for us. Like, uh, we watched it in film school. It's lovely to me to think mm -hmm. that you, as just a boy in mm -hmm. school, is seeing this and mm -hmm. feeling like, not only can I make a queer film, I can make a really yeah, different, just different like one or experiment. something really, I can experiment with yeah, this Yeah, exactly. Stuff. Like my, my film is more about um, that, that moment of like accept, acceptance of oneself and one's sexuality. And for me, that, for me, that experience was pretty, pretty tough. And I think it's something that really shapes you as a, a queer person and a queer artist is like having those moments of like self-examination um, that I think make you more in touch with who you are and it's really, it's like I think an asset to being a, um, a queer artist is like you become a, maybe a bit more self-aware the, the more you get connected to, your, to yourself in this way. Uh, our films could be product, could seem to be products of their time in that I felt this need to be funny and warm and charming and just sort of gently introduce people to a kind of, you know, gay relationship. Mm -hmm. But I felt like you actually had kind of some tougher, harder stuff and it, you didn't feel like you were betraying the, mm -hmm. the queer nation. Actually, you didn't really say if your film was personal. Yeah, why do you ask that? Well, I was just going to say, like, mine was also personal. I was like, well, you didn't really say that oh, yours was right. personal. But oh, it, definitely. I guess, no, yeah. it was very personal. It was yeah, very, I think uh, it's hard not to have a first feature be personal. That's often why first features are so strong mm -hmm. because people don't, they're, you're not self-conscious yet and you mm -hmm. just say things you haven't seen before. Or <laughs> well, maybe you, you weren't self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Not, I, I guess I feel like I'm probably always a little self-conscious. But yeah. you got to get rid of that. That was yeah. the best advice I got once was um, you're going to feel like you have something to lose because Closet Monster was such a beautiful film. And you oh, did such you. an amazing job on it, and it was really well received. But you're going to feel like you have something to lose. Get rid of that. You mm -hmm. start over at zero mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. And you have to be as daring and as self-revelatory mm -hmm. and as risky every time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a long history of queer cinema in Canada, Norma McLaren and, and John Grayson and Forbidden Love, Lynn mm -hmm. Fernie. You, we do grow out of each other, even if you've, like, we feel like we're independent, but we're in fact very, very connected, mm -hmm. you know? It's uh, every American, that you talk to has the same feeling of disbelief that our, we have a, a country that funds it. Funds yeah. this, yeah. The thing is, we're, we're lucky we can make them. We can't always get them seen. That's the toughest like, thing. Like, you had a film that broke out. I did, too. We got, mm -hmm. we got lucky. And why do you think, what do you think is, like, the struggle for Canadian films to get out? You need to find people you can work with internationally, and it's just, mm -hmm. like, you can't build your house completely on this, in this place, because it's so tiny, ultimately. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the most, the progressive edge, the frontier is, you know, trans experience. Our, our collective psyche is sort of figuring out, mm -hmm. okay, who, what is it to be between male and female, um, or, you know, to be that, that sort of other form that we haven't really addressed before, and that's almost over. And now, what's the next one? Um, maybe, I think, a lot of queer people of color, I think, are still queer building. Color. That's something. Intersectionality. Yeah, intersectionality. Right. I mean, like, Moonlight was so revolutionary. And you're like, what? Like, I can't, I couldn't believe it. It's like, it's because it's about a, a portrayal of queer blackness and the black identity that hasn't been given a voice. And it's just crazy to me that we hadn't really seen that sort of portrayal I know. before. I feel like that may be one of the many things that is going to happen. Features, that's another whole discussion, well, whether the features thing. are gonna live. Raising the money, making a feature film, and getting it out into movie theaters is mm -hmm. a really hard thing right now. Mm -hmm. um, doing a television series is easier, but I, I feel like that might be temporary. I can't imagine that 
one evening's thought and entertainment is ever going to go away. Mm -hmm. You know, where you have a beginning and a middle and end. That's the thing that features give you is endings that mm -hmm. series generally don't. And mm -hmm. Even the best series have shitty endings mm -hmm. generally, right? Yeah. And endings have morality and have consequence and have meaning. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like it's a temporary veering away from features towards television to shorter formats. I think there will be a return to kind of the, f the feature format. Mm -hmm. I, that, that's, that's, you wanted predictions about the future. That's my little prediction. Thank you.